welcome back to the vlog. Nathan got to go play at the park. Mm -hmm. Beaver Dam Park. Beaver Dam Park. Kind of interesting because we could hear thunder from that way. And then you look up over dry cottonwood. It's clearly at minimum raining. It look, kind of looks like we're at that, that way, maybe not. I know, bud. Hold on. But it's like, maybe that way's a little open, but otherwise, we're in the eye of the storm right now. And yet, there's still sun. I mean, it's kind of interesting because Montana, like, you got the, like, the weather changing endlessly, but... And I mean, it is a little bit Montana specific because it's like, got a mountain range there, mountains over there, mountains over there. So the mountains change the pressure systems a bit. Because that's how turbulence works. And a plane is the different shapes of the mountains making air rise differently. This is kind of cool because that, that's. I'm gonna mention that last time we're here, but that's the basketball court, which is super nice because technically it was closed down, but this part right here it used to extend this way, and that was the school. And I think it had like kindergarten through sixth grade. And like basically about right here is where the main entrance was, and it was all boarded up. But then you know, people come break in, and one time me and my cousin, because the creek that starts way off that way. I mean, well, I mean, it's just way the way off that way, actually, but where we fish goes under the highway right over there by my cousin's house, and then we'd fish from there and fish all the way down to here. And I mean, sometimes it's rare, but we'd go clear down like off that way over kind of by Warm Springs. But normally we'd stop here and then. Oh, you got up the rock wall. Awesome. But what we normally do is we finally stop here and then walk the streets back to my parents. And one time we got to right over there and quit fishing and came over here and the door I mentioned that was right here had the plywood torn off. We went in there, that basketball court is nice. That's why, I think I mentioned that last time, I don't understand because honestly the court itself, there's not as much seating, but it's nicer than the Memorial Gym that the Anaconda High School teams play in. And I mean, heck, if there was seating, that's all it would take. And that's like the nicest basketball court in the Tri-County area. So I've been in Deer Lodges. I've been in all the ones, most of the ones they play on in Butte. Like, I mean, if it's something big, they uh, put it, really? Okay. Okay. But yeah, in uh, Butte, they normally put a court in the Civic Center, but it's like that. I mean, when, when they do the Civic Center, that's really nice, but other than that, that's like the nicest court in this general area. Cause like I've been at or played at the job core one, all the ones in Anaconda. This is gonna make me dizzy. <sighs> dizzy, not busy. But I've, yeah, I've played at almost all of them. And like just going in there that day, that's by far the nicest one in this general area. It and it's just close. One. Yeah. I don't know why I continue to walk around instead of just doing this. No, and this is kind of crazy because this, that plaque, he was a friend of mine when I was a little kid and uh, they had a house fire and, I mean, I'm not going to go further than that. Ah, I found some sunglasses and I don't really know what Megan's are all about. We got them at a Grizz game for free because she has a couple pairs of cheap sunglasses because she thinks she'd lose her Maui's. But Tito's handmade vodka, those weren't missing an arm. Those would be some decent sunglasses. Yep, Beaver Dam Park, as he says. Hey. Which, I mean, he's correct. Hey, let's break this into a chip. Shh. What? I bet you can hear the creek. That creek is raging. The fact you can hear it from over here, it's got a, it's slowing good. We already know it's slowing good. We saw it up there earlier, but. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I talk about young people not having a work ethic anymore. Some kid was ambitious as all heck. And they got to be dang near to the bottom. Well, down to the dirt, like to the bottom of the wood chips, yeah. The thing is, honestly, because like this one here, well, I mean, it's dug into the ground, but that one, oh God, it's, uh, okay. But yeah, see how like this one here runs 
turning the bucket. And then this one's the one that controls like moving it. This is honestly like a pretty decent representation of a real mini. It's got two hand controls. It depends on the brand, I guess. And then Nathan, see this is what I love about my kid. He's so curious. He opens that up to be like, what is it? It's clearly a sprinkler system. But clearly he doesn't know. Um, that's probably, it's honestly like to be, if they're doing their job and the grass is growing good, it's kind of hard to tell. But like over here, there's kind of a little bit of a low spot. No, well, maybe not. Never mind. This grass is growing kind of funky. But yeah, like you look for a low spot where clearly there's a, a dip and it's watering everything. You know what, Nathan? I think these, these two, there were four here. These two are two of the same four that were here. Wow, they did a good job on this concrete. There's, I don't, it's a, it's a line, it's up to your sidewalk chalk, but as big as this is, I mean, they put the cuts in it, so the cracks form in the cuts, that's what those are for. Probably. But yeah, there's not an actual crack in it. Wow, they did a good job. And I mean, it's like, because like, you might be saying like, oh, the cut, you said the cuts are in it for the point that they crack instead of the cracks. But we did that at my dad's and there's still lit, one crack. I think one, that's it. But still, this is much bigger and there are no cracks. I'm not sure I've mentioned that on the vlog, but that's a bad place for the bike. Because the bike would stick out into the basketball court and then you get somebody going hard for a rebound. They wipe out over the bike. But yeah, Nathan asked why they don't open this. And I've said that many a time. Like, that basketball court was super nice. Like, open can it. I, can we go get a flower for mom? If you can find one. Oh, off that tree. Yeah. Oh, that's not right. Wire. Razor wire. I kind of thought it was like a half-ass a prison fence. That's just cable. But either way, like, to make it... I don't know. This basketball court is nice. Like, I'm not... I'm not overselling it. Like, it's very nice. And, I mean, it kind of sucks because that's the way the, the current time is. Is you can't trust people not to destroy it if they left it open. Got some. Got some. Cool, bud. So, they didn't do a perfect job on the concrete because, first off, okay, why not just put the pole into the main concrete? And then there's clearly low spots there. That's it though, honestly, on something this big, there might be a little bit of a low spot there and maybe over there. What happened? What happened where? Right here? It's a low spot. So the water settles there, which collects the dirt. But yeah, as big as this is, honestly, like those couple of little issues, that ain't that ain't bad at all. Wait, look, I found one. You found another sprinkler. Yeah, I can see that one. It's almost centered in the court, so it should get from court corner to court corner. What? Like it should get over to that corner and over to that corner and do a half circle. They know roughly how far they'll spray depending on water pressure and such. It is kind of weird. Like, I mean, not sound cocky, but like it's, it's insane. Like how much stuff like that's common sense that some people would be like, what? I don't get how sprinkler systems work. Another sprinkler head. Yeah, and see, and see, that's the thing, bud. That one's basically a quarter court, which means there's another one right over there's another one right over there, and these two team up to get <laughs> this whole side of the court. Hey, did I do it a little bit there? That's one thing I'm intrigued by, the fact there's another baseball diamond over there. Okay, see, whoever put these sprinklers in is kind of bad, because that other one's like right at quarter court. That one's almost at half court. Oh, I know. And clear. Yeah. What happened? It got really wet and then it crawled up onto the concrete and it got too dry too quick. How? What do you mean? If it like if it rained a little bit and then the sun came out, it'd cook a worm really fast. So when the ground gets really, really wet, they come up. I'm intrigued how good the paint is. Now yeah, pull that one. Well no, Nathan, you don't need to push harder, you need to work them together. But this is kind of interesting. Like, I'm intrigued how much, like how hardcore that paint is. Because if it's hardcore, that means there's a lot of kids willing to work hard to use the one piece of equipment here 
That is basically physical labor. And it's a pretty big hole. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan's uh, spinning me on the merry-go-round. Okay, I better. <laughs> I mean, you're not going too fast, but I'm on the outskirts, so. <laughs> jump on with me. But how? Just as you're, stop pushing and jump. I can't. It's moving too fast. No, it isn't. <laughs> Just now jump. <laughs> you gotta do it as you run, bud. Oh, I did it! <laughs> Kind of, yeah, all right, that works. I mean, the trench from people running is pretty deep, so yeah, fair. He's not, he's tall, but he's not that tall. He's actually got me going pretty darn good. Hold me, what do you mean hold me? Hop on. <laughs> you got it, keep going. Well, you made it up it earlier. I just didn't video it. Get your left foot on that green part. Left, left foot. The green part right between your legs. No, gr the, yeah. I meant, I said your left foot. He did it really good earlier. Nathan, yeah, now get your left foot up. I don't know. I know, bud. I'm honestly breaking my fish right now, grinning just with his problem solving there. Even with me trying to give him instructions, he figured out what he needed to do to get it. I'm surprised I didn't break my face. Okay, there's no skate park or anything here, but there's a mobile grand rail. It's kind of funny. I didn't really think about the thought of like a mobile grand rail and then I saw one earlier in Anaconda where someone had one like basically in the middle of the street to grind on it. Go where? Then is bound and determined to cripple me because he wants me to go through the tube. The opposite tube. Yeah, I'm too tall and uh, old and frail and uh, there's ridges which are on my knees and ankles and stuff. I'm okay, this kid has greasy hands because I mean... And it'll leave a handprint. <laughs> Golly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.